Hello everyone, welcome to System Software and Compilers Module 3 lecture video. In this lecture, we will be learning about uh, context free grammars, derivations, and parse trees. In the previous lecture, we have seen uh, the notational uh, conventions used in uh, writing uh, grammars. Now, in this lecture, uh, let us see how to use these uh, conventions to rewrite the grammar. Uh, for example, the grammar for uh, expression can be rewritten concisely as E derives E plus T or E minus T or T. T derives T star F or T slash F or F. F derives parenthesized E or ID. Here the notational conventions tell us that uh, the symbols E, T and uh, F are uh, non-terminals, non-terminals and uh, E being a start symbol, start symbol of the grammar and uh, the remaining symbols are terminals. The remaining symbols are plus, minus, star, slash, opening parenthesis, closing parenthesis and id. These are terminal symbols. Derivations. Now, let us see what is a derivation. The construction of a parse tree can be made precise by taking a derivational view in which the productions are treated as rewriting rules. Beginning with the start symbol, each rewriting step replaces a non-terminal by the body of one of its productions. This derivational view corresponds to the top-down construction of a parse tree, but uh, the precision afforded by the derivations will be especially helpful when uh, bottom-up parsing is used. As we will see, the bottom-up parsing is uh, related to a class of uh, derivations known as uh, rightmost derivations in which the rightmost non-terminal is rewritten at each step. For example, uh, consider the following grammar with a single non-terminal E which adds a production E derives minus E to the grammar. The grammar is E derives E plus E or minus E or E star E or parenthesized E or ID. The production E derives uh, minus E signifies that uh, if E denotes an expression, then minus E must also denote an uh, expression. The replacement of a single E 
by minus e will be described by writing e derives minus e uh, which is read as uh, e derives minus e the production e derives parenthesized e e derives parenthesized e can be applied to replace uh, any instance of e in any string of grammar symbols by the parenthesized e for example uh, e star e e star e derives parenthesized e star e or or e star e derives e star parenthesized e we can take a single e and uh, repeatedly apply productions in any order to get a sequence of uh, replacements for example uh, consider the derivation e derives minus e derives minus parenthesized e derives minus parenthesized id we call such uh, a sequence of replacements a derivation of the minus parenthesized id from e this uh, derivation provides a proof that uh, the string uh, minus parenthesized id is uh, one particular instance of an expression consider the string id plus id and it is a sentence of the grammar because there is a derivation e derives e derives minus e derives minus parenthesized e derives minus parenthesized e plus e derives minus id plus e derives minus id plus id the strings e minus e minus parenthesized e minus uh, e plus e minus id plus e and uh, minus uh, id plus id or all uh, sentential forms of uh, this grammar we write we write uh, e derives e derives minus id plus id to indicate that id plus id that is a minus id plus id can be derived from e in zero or more number of steps star represents zero or more number of steps consider the derivations for uh, minus id plus id uh, the first derivation is uh, 
e derives uh, minus e derives minus parenthesized e derives minus parenthesized e plus e derives minus id plus e derives minus id plus id the another derivation is e derives minus e derives minus e parenthesized e derives minus parenthesized e plus e derives minus e plus id derives minus id plus id at each step in the derivation there are uh, two choices to be made we need to choose uh, which uh, non terminal to replace and uh, having made this choice we must uh, pick a production with uh, that uh, non terminal as a head for example in the example considered uh, the following uh, alternative derivation of uh, id that is uh, minus uh, id plus id differs from uh, the above uh, derivation in the last uh, two steps so here in the first derivation we have replaced the first leftmost e by id but uh, in the second derivation we have replaced the rightmost uh, id rightmost e by id and in the next steps the replacement has been done for the non terminal e respectively but here the two steps differs in each derivation so each non terminal is replaced by the same body in the two derivations but the order of replacement is different to understand uh, how parsers work uh, we shall consider the derivations in which uh, the non terminal to be replaced uh, at each step is chosen as follows uh, in uh, leftmost derivations the leftmost non terminal in each uh, sentential is always chosen if uh, alpha derives beta is a step in which uh, the leftmost uh, non terminal in alpha is replaced we write alpha derives beta leftmost uh, in uh, rightmost derivations the rightmost non terminal is always chosen and uh, we write alpha derives beta r m for example the derivation uh, which was uh, previously used e derives uh, minus e derives uh, minus parenthesized e derives uh, minus uh, parenthesized e plus e derives minus id plus e derives 
id plus id the derivation here is uh, leftmost as uh, in each step the leftmost non terminal is replaced in the derivation of the string minus parenthesized id plus id parse trees and derivations a parse tree is a graphical representation of a derivation that filters out uh, the order in which uh, the productions are applied to replace uh, non terminals each uh, interior node of a parse tree represents the application of a production the interior node is labeled with the non terminal a in the head of the production the children of the node are labeled from left to right by the symbols in the body of the production by which uh, the a was uh, replaced during uh, the derivation for example to construct the parse tree for uh, the string minus uh, id plus uh, id we must use the derivation of this string minus id plus id so now we write the derivation for the string e derives minus e e derives minus parenthesized e derives minus parenthesized e plus e derives minus id plus e derives minus id plus id the tree is uh, constructed uh, based on the derivation so first the starting symbol e becomes the root node of the tree then the next derivation step is minus e so we will get the two children nodes and then from this e we have got the parenthesized e so opening parenthesis e and closing parenthesis then from this e we will get uh, e plus e so the tree will be like this and then uh, this e derives id and this e derives id the leaves of uh, this parse tree are uh, labeled by the non terminals or uh, terminals and uh, when we read from uh, left to right uh, these constitute uh, sequential uh, sentential forms and uh, these are called as uh, the yield of the tree or uh, frontier of the tree now let us construct the sequence of uh, past trees that constructed the previous pass tree from the derivation in the first step of the derivation e derives minus e to model this step add two children labeled minus and e to the root e of the initial tree so first e is the root node then in the first step i'll be using e derives minus e so i have to create two child nodes minus and e then 
in the the result is the second tree in the second uh, step of the derivation uh, minus e derives minus parenthesized e consequently uh, now we need to add uh, three children labeled opening parenthesis e and closing parenthesis to the leaf labeled uh, capital e of the second tree to obtain the third tree with the yield minus parenthesized e so now e minus e opening parenthesis e and closing parenthesis continuing in this fashion we obtain the complete parse tree as the sixth tree so e derives minus e e derives parenthesized e and in the next step the tree becomes e minus e and this gives parenthesized e and closing parenthesis and this e derives e plus e in the next step the tree becomes e derives minus e and this e gives parenthesized e and this e gives e plus id and in the next step the tree becomes e minus e e opening parenthesis e closing parenthesis and then this e gives e plus e and this e this is id and uh, this is id so we write here id and also uh, this uh, e is id so now this is the sixth tree and if we read the leaf nodes from uh, left to right we get the string we get the string minus opening parenthesis id plus id and closing parenthesis and this is called yield of the tree so this is how we need to construct the parse trees from the derivations